Have you ever been stuck in a long queue in the terminal while realizing you're wasting your precious time instead of doing more important things? Because we do. And that's why we came up with an IoT application which is Kilometer's Body. Things. In short, IoT is a network of physical devices, vehicles, home, appliances, and other items. Embedded with electronic software, sensors, operators, and connectivity which enables this object to connect and exchange data. Each thing is uniquely identifiable through its embedded computing system, but it is able to interoperate with, within the existing internet infrastructure. In the Philippines, 86% of Filipinos are, are using public transportation every day and 73% of, of the Filipinos are having troubles with their time management. The commuter's body aims to create a more convenient way for commuters to deal with their daily needs as to the mode of transportation. The objective. This project aims to create a more convenient way for commuters to deal with their daily needs as the mode of transportation. The developer will use a tracking medium to monitor the number of UV Express vehicles on the terminal which will keep the commuters updated of its availability. The project scope and limitation. The project focuses on monitoring the coming in and out of the UV Express terminal which is connected to the network. Consequently, users, users must register an account for them to be able to access the monitoring system. The location is only limited to access with their own website. Design standards IEEE 802.11 is an amendment to the IEEE 802.11 standard to allow configuration of client devices while connected to wireless networks. 802.11 is a set of IEEE standards that govern wireless networking transmission methods. They are commonly used today in their 802.11a, 802.11b, 802.11g, 802.11n, and 802.11ac versions to provide wireless connectivity in the home, office, and some commercial establishments. Ethernet local area network operation is specified for selected speeds of operations from 1 MB per second to 100 GB per second using a common media access control or MAC specification and management information base or MIB. The carrier sends multiple access within collision detection. MAC protocol spe specifies shared medium at duplex operation as well as full duplex operation speed specific media independent in interfaces allow use of selected physical layer devices for operation over coaxial distant pair and or fiber optic cables or electrical backlinks system considerations for multi-segment shared access networks describe the use of repeaters which are defined for operational speeds up to 1,000 MB per second. Local area network or LAN operation is supported at all speeds. UV Express owners, the, the critical information such as local, location data, vehicle status, driver's behavior can be accessed easily by the owners. This will, he, this will help make informed decisions and Schedule, schedule trips more efficiently and avoid possible incidents along the way, thus reduces operational and maintenance costs. Improve safety, maximize resources and vehicle utilization and keeps your customers satisfied. Project design. So once you open our uh, system, this is what uh, it looks like. Uh, we have here the office and the terminal. So here uh, here is the layout for the office. Uh, we have here um, cooling unit, uh, laptops, and um, appliances such as um, coffee maker. Uh, we also have fire, fire, fire extinguisher. And lastly is, of course, uh, the server. Um, with regards to the IP addressing, um, we configured the DHCP of the server so that the server will be the one to provide the IP We'll, we'll be the one to provide the IP addresses for the uh, connected devices.
Capital. We have here um, lamps. We have. We also have here fire extinguisher and the um, metal detector. The metal detector is for for us to know if the slot is already occupied or available. And this is the main topology of our system. Did the office cluster. So here you can see the office topography. So we all we have nine IoT items, which is the cooling unit, the thermostat, the heating unit, the sprinkler, the fire detector, and we have two coffee maker and a motion sensor. So let's explain how the thermostat works. So if you press the thermostat and click the blue light, the cooling unit will work. Then click it again for the heating unit. Click it again, click it again. The red light means the heating unit. So for the, if you are an employee of the office, you always want for the icebreaker, you always want to have a coffee break, just click on the motion sensor. Then the coffee maker will automatically work. Then if a fire broke out to the office, let's drag the fire to the detector. Then the splinter will automatically spring it up. Then let's go back to the main topology and let's get let's head to the terminal. So in the terminal you'll see car, metal detector, fire unit, of uh, fire detector, and lamps. So how does this work? Uh, if you're a commuter and you want to access the status of the terminal, just click on the iPad, iTouch, or whatsoever phone, click it, then go for the browser, then access our link, link or website, which is 192, that one, 68, that one, that 99. Here you'll see the red, the red mark, uh, the red highlights means the, the terminal is taken, and the green means the terminal is free. Can you move it down a little bit? The use of the yeah. Then let's try to move the, the uh, car number four in the terminal number four, which is this one. Then move it away from the terminal or the metal detector. Then you'll see the parking for the parking spot for is free. So that's how it's work, how it works for the commuter, for the yeah. Then let's go back to the main topology again. Let's go to the main topology again. So also this laptop and the smartphone can also access the terminal browser and also go back to the office. Each every one of the system unit can also access the web browser. That's it.